Hey friends, Joe from Reverb here coming at you with another warm-up routine video. These are so fun. I love every one of them. This time around, I had the pleasure of sitting down with Yasmin Williams, wonderful player, amazing artist, and just great energy, great person. And I've had a really good time with this warm-up routine. So thank you, Yasmin, for making this happen. Also, before I start, I want to say thanks to Gibson for sending along a new line of their Generation guitars. These guitars are inspired by an old archival blueprint from the 60s. And there's a player port on the top side of the body. It really allows you to kind of hear every detail. It's been really great for this particular warm-up, actually. There are four models in the Generation series. The G Rider is the one that spoke to me the most, and so that's what I'll be using in this video. Warm-up routine of Yasmin Williams. Super special. Almost spiritual in some ways. Like I say in all these episodes, everyone is so different. With Corey Wong, it was you know, really focused technique. With Mateus Asado, it was a lot of really kind of heady brain work as you're going through these, 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 these uh, phrases and these passages. With Yasmin, it's just been, it's been peaceful. The word that I would associate with this has been peaceful. It's been very soothing, a wonderful way to start the day, to start your session, to start your practice. And there's been some kind of extended technique stuff that I've never tried to do before including some kind of laying the guitar on your lap uh, and playing finger style lap tapping kind of stuff like Yasmin does so beautifully. Um, I've been stumbling through it, but here we are. It's time to pass along the goods to you and um, let's do it. Elizabeth Cotton tune, um, Vestipal, but I typically oh. play that. Okay, awesome. No, I love the Elizabeth Cotton reference, but I'm not sure if I know Vestipal. It's just a simple, um, like, finger style thing. Um, I tend to play it over and over. I don't really know why I do this. I don't know if it helps anything. I mean, I guess it kind of gets the blood going in my hands and kind of just uh, makes me aware of, like, my fingers and what to do. And it wakes, wakes everybody up. Exactly. Yeah. And it kind of, I have a tendency to have a stiff pinky. Okay. Um, so my pinky kind of sticks out sometimes when I'm playing, which is not great. And this, like warming up with this tends to help that relax. Awesome. Which makes my hand relax. my thumb too because sometimes i can have like a stiff thumb yeah that's beautiful that what a great uh i mean that's just like a great way to start the day right i mean because, <laughs> like it's also like i know that you're working your technique with your hands but also like for the ears that's just a great exactly. warm-up that's just that that just sounds like it's somebody a great frame of mind for a show and just it yeah. lifts my spirits and like yeah, exactly playing it at 80 like she was <laughs> Oh, I right. Get there. right. Yeah. Yeah. You'll be there. I mean, yeah, totally. That sounds like somebody's just hugging your ears and saying like, all right, cool. Let's, let's look at this. Yeah. We got this. We got this show. Um, I mean, I guess that's why I play it. Yeah. It's a really good, <laughs> it's nice. That, that's really, yeah, that was, that was a spiritual experience. If my pinky's relaxed and I'm playing it at a faster speed, like... So I know yeah. that I'm kind of like ready to move on to the next thing. Routine number one. Yasmin likes to play uh, a particular tune by Elizabeth Cotton called Vestipal. And this is a beautiful song. This is a beautiful piece. And it's allowed me to um, take my time with more finger style picking and just really breathe through this, through this piece. So here it is. Here's where I'm at with it. 
we are in open D, okay? So D, A, D, F sharp, A, D. Capo three. And it's all centered around this, um, you know, this thumb going from D to D. Well, the capo would be F to F, but open low string to open D string. And then this figure on the, on the high E just, that's what got me going with it. Just running the thumb and then throwing that lick on the downbeat. So when your thumb hits that low string, you're going from two to four, five to seven. And then just adding in one lick at a time. That's the way that I've been practicing this. And then we're gonna walk chromatic up to this shape. And this shape. I've got, um, so with the, with the capo on there, uh, two, open, one, two, open. Keep that thumb going. And back to the top. And then we're walking down to the to kind of the five chord. Three, two, open. And that, and that shape is just a, a D string two and G string one. Okay, and then this cool lick up here, going all the way up to... Once again. And then I just, I just kind of ran that over and over again. that swag of letting that string bend and then really hitting the open string kind of on the beat too so it's like this really interesting push and pull that happens with that bend and landing that down beat uh, enough laziness on the bend but still staying on kind of staying on the track right <laughs> With cotton, Vestipol, open D, capo three. That's the first warm up. Usually with lap tapping, I, I kind of just do like two things to kind of get going, like because these both of these hands have to like work together. Uh -huh. It's a repeating pattern, basically, just at varying speeds. I tend to do a lot of like tempo changes and stuff when I warm up, just to see if I can actually do it. Because if I sure. can't, that means it's it's not connecting. Sure. that open top string yeah, that was on purpose, yeah. the, the that's like you know that kind of like brings it everything full circle it's that's exactly awesome. yeah and like if i can do that that means that my hands are connecting but yeah just try to have a relaxed pinky and a relaxed thumb right right that's the trick when you start doing this stuff it's like man mm -hmm. it starts to to crawl they into curl. it yeah all right let's see I can give you a trick for the pinky later. Yes, yes, please. Oh, okay. Get a piece of paper. Uh-huh. Like just smush it into a ball. All right. Put it in your pinky and hold it with your pinky. Oh, really? And that actually helps relax it. Really? Mentally, so, so like if you do that for like a two weeks, your pinky will not curl. 
All right, warm up number two. Uh, as you can see, I am in this vulnerable position of the guitar flat on my lap. I'm not used to this. I've never done this. So this was such an exciting challenge for me and a little bit scary to try to kind of dive into something that um, I've never done before and I've never kind of approached a guitar this way before. Open, low string, open, five, seven. And then same thing on the next string. And then same on the next string. Now on the G string, it shifts down to four and six. Back to five and seven. And back to five and seven there. Okay, so. And then it just repeats, okay? Okay, now, I did that for a while, just super slowly. And then when I started to feel like there was any kind of flow going on, that's when Yasmin adds the open high string with the open low string at the start of the, of the exercise. So it would be like this. Okay, this is seriously just like getting for me, this was getting my hands in a motion that they're so unfamiliar with. But after a couple weeks, it was like, okay, you're, it's amazing how your hand starts to, you know, kind of like realize, you know, and kind of develop this sense of, yeah, okay, I know what we're doing here. We've been doing this every day for a couple weeks. All right, here we go. <laughs> second thing I do is uh, a section of one of my songs called Through the Woods where it's just basically like getting these two hands to work together. bass movement yeah it just so continues to helps. ascend really you're supposed to play it without the cable by the way oh okay cool yeah the bass this sometimes i have problems with um my index finger like going upwards okay I, like this. I have to be very precise with it it's very easy to miss strings at least for me totally no i can feel that the precision really has to be there with this there's no yeah. there's not a room for yeah there's like no room for air <laughs> right right like even with an open tuning it's still it can totally like i just missed it here warm-up routine number three Okay, well, this is one of Yasmin Williams' songs called Through the Woods. Here is kind of what's going on. I'm going open on the low string. Same tuning, open D, right? On this one, your thumb gets kind of planted into the side of the fretboard, okay? So your thumb, my thumb is kind of like going like this as my fingers are doing the work up here, okay? There's open and hammering on the second fret on both the low strings. So that shape, that move is going to happen on fret two, four, five, and seven. And I'm using my index finger for both of those. Okay, now the rest of the phrase of each motif 
open D string, G string, hammer on first fret, and then open B string. So you're kind of cascading along the first five strings. I just did this nice and slowly, just stayed in this position and just remained kind of comfortable, not trying to stay in time, but just kind of in open space doing this kind of over and over again. And then I moved it up. Same thing there. So you're going open on the D string, hammering on to the third fret. So it's the same shape. And then going up to the fifth fret, and this shape changes a little bit. That G string hammer goes up a fret. So those are all fifth fret hammers there. And then the seventh fret, same thing. Okay, so the whole passage. As you heard there, I flubbed a couple of those. And it was a really interesting, in our conversation, Yasmin says, you know, when I screw something up or when I flub something, I go back and I start over. And I had never really thought about if I had a particular or natural like routine for that when I'm practicing. And I, and I started to think about that a little more. And it's like, I think that in certain situations, I do go back to the beginning because I want this flow to happen. But then there are other situations where I just kind of play through it and continue. So interesting to ask yourself that question. What kind of move do you make in that moment? The last thing like that I do before going into the super air advanced, I guess, stuff is just... Um, I have this way of playing harmonics when lap tapping that's kind of... Uh, takes some getting used to, but okay. I feel like you could do it. All right. Um, so you take your right hand. I use my index finger. Uh, kind of, I guess it's kind of tilted at an angle. It's maybe like a, I don't know what angle, maybe like a 45 degree. Okay. But to get the harmonic, like, like that. Yeah. When I'm lap tapping, sometimes I don't have the time to set that up and do that. Right. Like, Sometimes I have to like just slap it. So really, what you do is just kind of kind of like a. Hey, I'm not getting the high one. Oh, there. Yeah. So you, yeah. So you really. It's like someone's like chastising you. Like, no, don't do that. <laughs> like this is not practice. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's the high one's kind of hard to get, but the way the, how I do it is I kind of like put my left hand on. Uh, the strings like to mute like if I want to focus on the higher harmonic like uh -huh. on, the, on the first string I'll use my left hand to mute the other strings oh nice and then so I can just solely focus on hitting that oh, nice. harmonic I see sometimes yeah. you get it sometimes you don't totally <laughs> but yeah. you kind of in that life getting it <laughs> like, you, know, um, you can also have fun with it like use your left hand and play different Whatever. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, man. Yeah. That is so. It's such a delicate thing, though. Like it really is. trying like, to get that single note. Yeah. Like that's. It's easy. It's almost easier to get like multiple. Right. Like, focusing on one is because you don't want to hit it too hard, or else you'll hurt yourself. Right. But you you can't be soft, or else nothing really happens. Right. And warm-up routine number four. This is all has to do with harmonics, okay? So we're going to go capo two, same tuning, open D tuning all day long. Yasmin's music involves some harmonics. Like, you know, she'll like play a, a line and she'll like nail this harmonic and then continue the line and it's like super, super sick. <laughs> I can't do that. But 
something that is getting me going on at least just getting these harmonics happening is just going up an octave from the capo. So I'm on capo two. So I'm just, har you know, grabbing this harmonic like this um, on the 14th fret. Okay. And Yasmin kind of like, she'll put a rhythm to it, but she's using the left hand to mute as she's using the right hand to, and just the, specifically just the index finger kind of like hammer to nail that harmonic. And we also talked about how it's actually easier to get like a, you know, like a, a few notes and it's actually really difficult just to isolate one note. And it's even more difficult to then go down this, the line of strings and try to get one at a time of all six strings. It's just this really awesome interplay between both of your hands to get these really delicate, tiny little bell tones, you know? There you have it, the Yasmin Williams warm-up routine. Yasmin, thank you so much for sharing this stuff with me and, and allowing me to, to take this on and share it with all of you. So cool, I really love doing this. Like I say in all these episodes, I say the same thing at the end of all these episodes. <laughs> like, I love doing this. It's, it feels so cool to be able to learn new stuff and to be able to pass it along. It really feels good. Feels like we're doing something here, y'all. So Yasmin, thanks again. Um, I hope to see you again. I hope to hear your hear some new music soon. And also thanks to Gibson. Once again, this generation series is super cool. This G Rider particularly is awesome. The cutaway is great. This this player port is really great. The the sound flying up right at you is like really awesome. The detail is amazing. So thanks to Gibson. Thanks to Yasmin Williams. Thanks to Reverb for making it all happen. And um, we will see you guys next time. Thanks again for watching. Practice 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 give it a few minutes a day and let me know how it's going down in the comments so cheers and we'll see you next time mm -hmm.